Walang saysay ang check and balance na siyang dahilan kung bakit may dalawang kapulungan. Nakakatakot po ito, mga kapatid, mga kasama. Under this bill, anyone suspected of being a terrorist can be detained without warrant for up to 24 days. Kahit sino sa atin ay maaaring ipaaresto at makulong ng 24 days nang walang anumang kasong isinasampa sa hukuman. If we live in a country that allowed the police to search your home at any time for any reason, if we live in a country that allowed the government to open your mail, eavesdrop on your phone conversations, or intercept your email communications, if we live in a country that allowed the government to hold people in jail indefinitely based on what they write or think, or based on mere suspicion that they are up to no good, then the government would no doubt discover and arrest more terrorists. APEC Party List Representative Serge Dagook voted yes with reservations. He said there are some questionable provisions that he wants to be discussed during the bicam. I have to promote Proto ng Yes. I would like to reiterate because I wanted to support the government's effort against terrorism. I hope that all of the reservations at mga pangamba na nasabi ng ating mga kasamahan sa kapulungan ito ay matalakay sa baikam at masolusyonan at hindi mangyari yung ating mga agam-agam. Lanao del Norte Representative Khalid Dimaporo is also seeking more clarity regarding the measure. He abstained from voting, claiming that he was never afforded the chance to fully understand the necessity for an anti-terrorism bill. I felt compelled to have vote in abstention. And the reason being, foremost, one, we were not allowed to ask any questions. I simply want to be cleared or, you know, answered. I want that there were some clarif uh, clarificatory questions that I wanted answered so I can understand how important House Bill 6875 is for our country. First, I wanted to know, what's the status now? We just went through how many years of martial law? And I have reports from the Regional Peace and Order Council, Provincial Peace and Order Council, that in the Lanao region, we have eradicated the terrorists. So what's the status now? Why is it so urgent that we have an anti-terrorism law? Akala ko, tapos na tayo dito. 